This divestment bill hurts my feelings. That Caterpillar bulldozer ended life in the body of an American citizen, drove her bones into the ground while a company cashed in on the sale. The claws of D9 bulldozers unearthed the livelihood of occupied Palestinians, uprooting their graveyards to make way for illegal settlements. But we need a positive campus climate. While HP stock rises on division, producing technology to segregate Palestinians, biometric IDs at checkpoints, enhancing the naval blockade of an open-air prison, Palestinians on campus listen to words like positive, climate, hurt feelings, knowing their tuition invests in companies raining terror on loved ones that suffering, like their voices, is non-existent to student board members looking for cushy jobs at top five law firms. But this divestment bill, it's divisive. The Montgomery bus boycott, divisive. The great boycott, one-sided, abolishing slavery, radical, Nelson Mandela, a terrorist, indigenous, savages, women's suffrage, complicated, desegregation, provocative, Hiroshima security, internment camps of necessity, Bantu Sands autonomy, Iraq liberation, Palestine burn. There is always, always going to be an excuse. Catchphrases, talking points, strip away names and faces. We are being militant, unreasonable. There's context to this oppression. The word apartheid, it makes you feel uncomfortable. It's apartheid by definition. Fits a 73 convention. By law, it is a crime against humanity. Two sets of laws for two people. Labor, land ownership, access to education. 50 laws of discrimination, 46 years of occupation, 27,000 homes demolished, nearly a million arrested since 67. Whoa, whoa, every nation has problems, but why the singling out on campuses? You mean like Darfur? Tibet? South Africa? Sweatshops? Coca-Cola? Animal testing? The Keystone Pipeline? Undocumented rights? The prison industrial complex? Fossil fuels? Teacher unions? University cuts? And bottled water? The real question, why? Are you singling out any injustice for protection? Let me get the next one for you. Israel is democratic. Democratic like coal is clean, Miller Lite is the same great tasteless filling, and McDonald's salads are healthy. These are not imagined scenarios. Our tuition dollars are profiting off of death. Divestment is the next step. This is not about a nation or a people, but what's being done to people in our names, with our currency, this university will not liberate anyone, but it can choose to cease making a buck off of misery. Vote yes for divestment. No to appeasement. Affirming injustice isn't positive for any climate.